Hey everyone, Kira 4.7 is here, where we've added a lot of functionality that will really help you out. Of course, we've improved the performance of the software itself, but we've really focused on simplifying print preparation and adding a better integration with Ultimaker Digital Factory. But without further ado, let's dive into the features. We've simplified adding cloud printers from the Ultimaker Digital Factory. When you open Cura, you can log in, and after logging in, all your printers will be automatically loaded into Cura. This means they're immediately available and ready for you to start printing with your full digital infrastructure available to you. And if you don't log in, you can trigger it later with the Add Cloud Printer button you can find in this interface. We've improved the search functionality, as some settings have very distinct names that are not easy to find or remember. And the search now actually takes description of the setting into account. So for instance, let's tune the elephant foot and we search for elephant foot in the search bar and we can find the setting that's associated to it, which is the initial layer horizontal expansion. The next feature is model error detection. Because when you load in a model that's not manifold, but actually contains errors, Ultimate Acura will now trigger a warning to notify you. This allows me to go back into cut and fix the model before I print with unexpected results. And this really improves your print success rate. This feature was actually already there in Cura 4.6, but we never really highlighted it to you, so here it is. And on top of all this functionality, we've also added arrows on the rotation tool, making it easier to rotate your model. Ultimate Acura is now also more responsive with multiple 3D models on the build plate. We've added a button so Ultimate Acura will now download all the plugins and material profiles that are associated to your account. And finally, tree support has been improved in such a way it's not an experimental setting anymore, but fully supported. So these were the main features of Cura 4.7. So try it out and let us know what you think. See you next time.